Are you ready to finally start sustainable beekeeping? In this video, we've jam-packed the need-to-knows to get started. We'll go over the entire process from start to finish. Picture this. On your own property, you step outside and hear the gentle hum of bees at work, the sweet scent of blooming flowers, and the golden glow of raw organic honey flowing into a jar. But behind that idyllic scene, lies a lot of effort and dedication. These tips will help make it easier for you. Before diving into beekeeping, it's essential to educate yourself about bees, hive management, and beekeeping practices. Utilize resources such as books, online guides, and local beekeeping associations to deepen your understanding. We'll cover everything you need to get started, but you'll need to continue to educate yourself to learn about different bee species, seasonal expectations, bee behavior, and biology, just to name a few. I have linked some educational sources in the description. Now, the most important step is investing in high quality beekeeping equipment to set up your apiary. I've added a link below to a family owned and operated business that sells all of the equipment that you need. Let me briefly list all of those items. Beehive with components like hive bodies, frames, and covers, a smoker, which is used to calm the bees, a beekeeping suit, a hive tool, which is a specialized tool used for prying apart hive components, scraping off propolis, and inspecting frames. Bee brush, and this is just used to gently sweep bees off of hive surfaces. Hive feeder, it provides supplemental feed to the bees. Queen excluder, this is a barrier used to prevent the queen from laying eggs in honey supers. A super is where the bees store their excess honey. Hive stand. This raises the hive off the ground to prevent moisture buildup and deter pests. Frames and foundation. Wooden or plastic frames with foundation sheets for bees to build comb. An entrance reducer. This regulates the size of the hive entrance to defend against predators and control ventilation. Queen cage. Used to introduce a new queen to the hive or transport a queen during hive manipulation. Varroa mite treatment. This is essential for controlling parasitic varroa mites, a common threat to bee colonies. Feeding syrup. This is a sugar water solution as supplementary food. You also need protective gloves, a beekeeping veil, a queen rearing kit. This includes tools and equipment for raising new queens for colony expansion or replacement. Honey extractor for harvesting honey from frames without damaging the comb. An uncapping knife to remove wax cappings from honey frames before extraction. Honey bottles and jars to store the golden goodness. Hey, really quick, if you like these kind of videos and are interested in homesteading, sustainability, and community, then hit that like button and subscribe for more. Now, hive location. You're gonna need to choose a location with plenty of sunlight, shelter from strong winds, and easy access to water in nearby flowers and plants. If you use commercial cleaning products or paints in your home, Make sure the hives are far enough away because many chemicals and pesticides can harm your bees. For environmental reasons, pesticides in general should be avoided, but that's a topic for another video. Prepare the hive site. You can do this by clearing away vegetation and debris to create a clean level surface for the beehives. Consider installing hive stands or platforms to elevate the hives off the ground. Now your hive entrances should face east or south to maximize exposure to morning sunlight and heat. Buy your bees. Source honeybee colonies from reputable suppliers or local beekeepers. I recommend a nucleus colony because it includes the queen and worker bees, brood frames, honey frames, and some honeycomb. Once again, link below to a fantastic supplier in Arkansas. Add the bees to the hive. Introduce the queen bee to the hive either in a queen cage or directly into the hive and allow the bees to acclimate to their new environment. Monitor the bees closely in the days following installation to ensure they are settling in well and then provide supplemental feeding if necessary. Inspect regularly. Conduct thorough inspections every seven to 10 days during the active beekeeping season. You're gonna to wanna to carefully examine the brood pattern, look for signs of disease or pests, and assess the overall temperament of the colony. Record your observations in a beekeeping journal to track hive progress over time. Food and water. As mentioned earlier, ensure bees have access to abundant food sources, including nectar and pollen from near nearby plants. Planting a diverse range of bee-friendly flowers and herbs around your homestead will provide for your bees throughout the year. Harvest honey. Harvest honey when the honey supers are full and capped by the bees. Use a beekeeping smoker to calm them before removing frames from the hive, minimizing disruption and stress. Extract honey from the frames using a honey extractor or crush and strain method. 
filter and bottle the honey for storage, labeling each jar with the harvest date and hive location or number. I'm going to show you exactly how the pros harvest honey. It's finally time to extract your precious honey. That's the sweet reward for all the love and attention you've given your bees throughout the season. There's four steps that go into extracting your honey. First, you want to uncap the frames, then spin them in the extractor, run the honey through a filter, and you're ready to bottle your honey. Make sure your frames are at least two-thirds capped before you extract them. So first, you want to take one of your honey frames um, and put it on top of your uncapping tech, just like this. And with your uncapping fork, you want to remove the first thin layer of wax the bees have put on top of the honey cells, just like this. Make sure to work slowly and try to not forget any. Now that is an expert, she's just taking the very top layer of wax off. You want to avoid going too deep or you'll break the cells and we won't be able to use these frames for the next seasons. This method or this process is going to allow the honey to flow freely once we set it up in the extractor. Okay, so now that it's done, you want to take your frame and put it in your extractor. So, once your frame are uncapped, you want to put them in your extractor. You'll see the extractor moves quite a bit under the centrifugal force, so you'll probably need some help to hold it while you're turning the handle. Alex? Let me help you. Now that all the honey is extracted from the frames and has accumulated itself at the bottom of the extractor, we're going to elevate it. Now, come and place adequately your pail and filter under the extractor just like this. If you need to, use a plastic spatula to go and scrape the honey on the side of the extractor to make it fall to the bottom. And here's the final result, a delicious pot of golden honey ready to be enjoyed and shared with your friends and family. Enjoy. Stewardship and conservation. Be responsible in beekeeping with techniques that prioritize the health and welfare of your bees. Support biodiversity and minimize negative impacts on the environment. Be responsible in beekeeping with techniques that prioritize the health and welfare of your bees. Support biodiversity and minimize the negative impacts on the environment. Help with bee conservation efforts such as planting pollinator friendly habitats, supporting local beekeeping associations, and advocating for bee friendly policies in your community. Be a steward of the bees and the environment they depend on for survival. Community engagement. Engage with your local beekeeping community by participating in workshops, beekeeping clubs, and educational events. Share your knowledge and experiences with fellow beekeepers. Exchange tips and advice. Collaborate on projects to support bee health and sustainability. Also make sure to educate your friends, family, and neighbors about the importance of bees and pollinators in our food system. Be an advocate for bees and beekeeping, spreading awareness and appreciation for these vital insects.